Start by relaxing into your posture. Have a straight back, not allowing it to become rigid or tight. And so be with the breath as undistractedly as you can, but having a kind relationship with your own distractions. Neither suppress nor indulge. And as the mind begins to settle, you just gently revive your bodhicitta motivation. I do this practice of study, of reflection, of meditation, in order to develop my fullest potential so that I can be of greatest benefit to all living beings. And holding that sense of bodhicitta, picture a future time, hopefully at a great old age where you know that you are on your deathbed. Imagine you reach that point, having said what needs to be said, having forgiven who needs to be forgiven, having asked forgiveness of those who you need to ask it from, having connected with your meaning and purpose in such a way that you feel satisfied with a life well lived. So think about the best case scenario, death situation for yourself.
and the earth element is no longer able to support your consciousness. All of the heaviness in the body, the bones, consciousness withdraws from them, dissolves. And because of that, you have a natural inner appearance of mirage, shimmering and radiant. And do you think the clear light of death is coming? May I realize the nature of mind, its lack of inherent existence. A profound chance is coming. May I not miss it. And so you see the mirage and you think these thoughts and you are not afraid. It's only death. You've died countless times. The mental continuum continues. You have connection with some refuge, with deep ethics. And the water element, all the liquids in the body are no longer able to support consciousness. You feel a bit dry, scratchy eyes, cotton mouth. But one part of your mind knows this is just the body. The mind will continue. I leave a legacy of love in the relationships. I carry with me an inheritance of so much spiritual work. And so you're not afraid. And you see billowing smoke just naturally because of the dissolution process. Smoke rising up or steam simply because this water element can't support consciousness, this inner vision occurs. And you notice your body becoming a bit cold. And instead of being concerned about that, it triggers an awareness that this must be the time that the fire element in the body is no longer able to support consciousness. And so you're not afraid. Reconnect with your refuge. Remember the clear light is coming. See the vision of fire sparks against a black sky. We're like fireflies.
vision of weak red-blue flame as the physical body is almost finished holding you. And as you take your last breath, then is a white appearance. Spacious and luminous white appearance. Your consciousness remains in the body, but no longer experiences any pain from the body. A deep quiet, less conceptions. But imagine that you have the remaining will to recognize the clear light. And white appearance gives way to red appearance, like an autumn sunset, the chatter of the mind even less, old hopes and fears fading. But imagine that bodhicitta and the will to realize emptiness remain. quiet intentions. And red appearance fades to black. Deep nighttime, like swooning unconscious or fainting. And then the clear light dawns like an autumn at sunrise, cloudless sky, radiant light blue. And as you have this appearance in your mind's eye, imagine that one part of you recognizes the mind's lack of inherent existence. you experience a natural type of non-duality. But this time, this death, it doesn't just pass you by, but you recognize it. as if this clear light experience becomes the catalyst for your deepest Mahamudra experience.
mind itself is the object by which you understand emptiness. The natural non-duality, your referent. And think that in this clear light mind state that you were able to meditate within has brought great spiritual progress to this mental continuum. But the meditation ends as the subtle wind the consciousness rides on stirs. And imagine that your consciousness and the subtle wind it rides on leaves your old body. The bardo dawns. And in this intermediate state, a certain level of conceptions reappear, dreamlike projections, some pleasant, some unpleasant, just the play of your mind. But you see the dreamlike nature. Think that you remain lucid in this bardo state, awake to it, knowing projections to be projections. And so watch the play of your own thoughts while not believing in the story they tell. And because of the power of the bodhicitta at your death, 
your strong intentions because of the ability to recognize the clear light mind. This is like a positive wave that karmically draws you to new parents who are human and ethical and kind. Likely ones that you've met before many times, but maybe had different relationships with. And you have all sorts of different attitudes arise when you see your parents together. And the coarseness of these conceptions causes your bardo death. And the visions reverse. Back to clear light, only briefly. Black appearance. Red increase. White appearance. Weak flame. Fire sparks. Billowing smoke. Mirage. Rebirth into the fertilized egg. Imagining that you're completing karma is also positive. And you grow a body that is healthy and strong. And now shift from your imagination of being in your new mother's womb to being back in the body you are now. Also feeling healthy and strong. Connecting with the vitality you still have left in this rebirth. Reground yourself. and feeling safe and alive in your current body with much strength and much vitality left. Make a very strong aspiration to yourself that when you do die, it will be something similar to what you just experienced. 
The main thing being that you meet the process with peace, with refuge, with bodhicitta. And if you can, a realization of emptiness. May we cut the root of samsara. May we cut the root of suffering by seeing illusion to be illusion, starting with our own eye. And may we be deeply supported in this process by our inner refuge, as well as outer refuge, whatever form we connect with. For this moment, you can imagine the form your refuge takes is Shakyamuni Buddha, or simple golden light, but visualize in the space in front some embodiment, some representation of that outer refuge and inner refuge. Concepts of compassion, deep belief in the power of love and peace and forgiveness. Expansive wisdom, skillful ability, qualities within you, qualities outside of you that you can connect with. At Shakyamuni Buddha's heart center is Prajna Paramita, mother of wisdom. Connect with her particularly as the embodiment of the wisdom realizing emptiness. And at her heart, the mantra, which offers us a procedure to go along, a series of transformations to progress with. Path of accumulation, path of preparation, path of seeing. then path of meditation, all the way to the path of no more learning, becoming a Buddha ourselves. And so at her heart center, she offers access to and connection with these processes represented by this mantra.
Tayata Om Gate Gate Paragate Parasamgate Bodhisoha. From the mantra at her heart, who herself is at the heart of the Buddha, light goes out in all directions to all sentient beings, including ourselves. The light dispels the darkness of ignorance. The light ripens our ability to realize emptiness directly. Holding this idea, holding the image of light, add the mantra. Taihata gate gate parai gate parasam gate bodhisoha. I got gate gate parai gate parasam gate bodhisoha I got gate gate Parai gate, parasam gate, bodhisoha. Tayata gate gate, parai gate. Parasam gate bodhisoha tayata gate gate parai gate parasam gate Bodhisoha Tayata Gate Gate Paragate Parasam Gate Bodhisoha Tayata Gate Gate Parai Gate Parasam Gate Bodhi The mantra absorbs into Prajnaparamita, who absorbs into Shakyamuni Buddha, who dissolves and absorbs into you, blessing your body, speech, and mind. And we dedicate. 
May the supreme jewel bodhicitta that has not arisen arise and grow. And may that which has arisen not diminish, but increase more and more. May the precious view of emptiness that has not arisen arise and grow. And may that which has arisen not diminish, but increase more and more. And you can relax your attention. Okay, see you after breakfast.